everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to me in my pajamas. I'm Jessica Perrier and I'm the Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Fashpreneurs. And this week on Valentine's Day, I'm headed out to Mexico. I am finalizing my packing right now because my friend Alyssa is arriving to my house in two days and I just want to be able to focus on having fun with her. So, welcome to my own personal fashion show today. Okay, but for real, in my real life, I wear pajamas all day, every day, sometimes just a bathroom. But anyway, going on vacation is my chance to indulge in fashion. I love clothes and shoes and accessories, but in my real life, they're just not necessary. <laughs> all right, guys, so as I go through each of my outfits, feel free to, you know, give me your opinions in the comments. I feel a little bit scared opening up opinions to the internet, but it's fine. I love this cover up so much because it covers up your whole entire body and it's so cute. I just love it. So this suit is actually from Kate Spade, but I picked it up at my favorite store, TJ Maxx. I feel like this suit is a little boobalicious, but I freaking love it. The side situation. This one is a little bit difficult to get into, I'm not gonna lie. How fun is this? So I've actually had this bathing suit for like several years and it's always been one of my favorites. I just think it's so like sexy without being over the top sexy and it's also super comfortable. And halters are usually not super comfortable at all, but this one actually pretty much is. Oh Lord, Jessica. Everybody is a swimsuit body. That's my vacation affirmation. Oh look, it's like I'm already there in Mexico. The curl doesn't stay in my hair. I'm not so much feeling the bikinis for this trip, but I figured I would pack a couple just in case I was, you know, feeling brave. Okay. This is me actively practicing body positivity. How fun are these cover-up pants with this bathing suit? I am really becoming a fan of the high-waisted pants. Like, I never thought I would be, but... I'm not mad at them with the crop tops. Here's another high-waisted look that I kind of enjoy. And I love this top so much. Okay, and I bought these cover-up pants uh, last year for the DR, and I freaking love them. They're from Robin Pacone, and they have this slit, but the way they kind of overlap, it doesn't expose too much. So you'll even see when I show you my dinner outfits later, I've paired these with a tank top and a little jacket for a dinner look as well. I could even have a little I dream of genie moment. Don't judge me, but I was shopping in Nordstrom and I thought, I'm just gonna try that bathing suit on just for fun. And I freaking loved it. It fits me like a glove. I feel like it's pretty flattering looking and the material just feels amazing. I just love it so much. So I bought it. I'm not mad at it. I do realize I don't need a cover up for every single look, but so this one is kind of fun because there's a bonus perk to tanning in it. <laughs> this situation right here creates really fabulous fake abs. We learned that one in the DR. So I bought this bathing suit for my Hawaii trip and I freaking love it. And the bottoms are actually, let me try not to flash you, reversible. So I could have them matching in the same floral print or I could have them in the solid blue. I kind of like it in the solid blue. And this is the other option I had to show you. What do we think? I'm undecided on these shoes. I am frequently cold, so I always like to make sure that I have some kind of a topper. I'm not mad at casual flip-flops. And then I've got these nude wedges, which I plan to wear quite a bit, but I don't really love the nude with the white. I think this is totally like Mexico-ish, right? So, fun fact about this outfit, this was the first twinning outfit that I wore with Alyssa when we went to Italy, what, two and a half years ago? Three years ago? Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm a super fan of jumpsuits. Perhaps we enjoy it in blue more. Focus on me. The camera doesn't want to focus on me. There we go. I haven't actually decided yet on the jewelry for this look, but I freaking love it. Um, all right, so here are the options. My lizard bracelet. Obviously, I'm not going to wear them together, but I also have my lizard necklace. But I also really love the blue in the jacket, and I thought this would pick it up. So there's one option. Meh. I don't know. I think it's kind of distracting. It's a little much. This one might be the winner, guys. 
I just love my lizard so much. Remember I said I'm a fan of crop top outfits? I mean, you guys, I, I'm at my heaviest weight I've ever been in my life. Full disclosure, all right? I'm embracing body love and I love myself just the way that I am. That said, I am for sure at my heaviest weight I've ever been at in my life. And I wouldn't say that I've been comfortable in crop tops ever, but they're kind of on trend now. And I really am digging this little midriff exposure. No matter what your size is, you can expose a little bit of midriff and it's kind of sexy without being over the top, straight up slutty. So this is my next outfit. I'm like sporty spice. I love this outfit. I think it's so fun. So shoes. Oh God, I don't like these black ones. These are the shoes that want to be worn with this outfit. And that my friends is why you should unpack your suitcase as soon as you get home. I thought I lost these. I'm super excited about this shell necklace and I love that it kind of goes with this outfit. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to be rocking this dress with my favorite gold shoes and I'm undecided on my necklace actually. This is the way that I'm leaning. I really love this one, super simple, classy with the gold shoes, but I also have a fun islandy one. Okay, so this is the fun islandy one that I might also consider. So part of the territory of um, being at my heaviest weight ever is having the biggest boobs ever. <laughs> so some of these outfits are a little more boobalicious than I'm used to. So I love this leopard jumper and I was undecided with the orange sweater, but I, I'm kind of not mad at it. So it's another dinner outfit. Now that I found my orange, I legit thought I lost these. I think I've decided not to bring these black ones. They're just not doing it for me at all. Next outfit. So I actually bought this orange little sweater from Victoria's Secret, God, over 10 years ago, back when they used to sell clothing. I got it on clearance for like $7.99, something crazy. And I have worn it so freaking much. I would buy it in every color if I could go back. I just love how it ties. And it's nice and cozy. It's a fun, like, casual day dress. It's super comfy. A little boobalicious, but super comfy. And it's got the smocking in the back. I especially love this dress because it's got a built-in bra. And it matches my crab. And last but not least, of course we're going to have a white party. Out on the beach. That's our farewell party this time. And this is probably going to be my white party outfit. I have another white romper, but... I feel like this is more like beachy and it's super comfortable and I just got this tassel necklace and I just think it goes perfect. And I know I already showed you my big floppy hat in my other video but I just had to show it to you again because I love it that much. How cute is this sweater? I did pick up this sweater for like cool nights just to throw on something comfy and I just think it's adorable with the palm trees and then there's some hearts and lightning bolts, you know. It's fun. On uh, one side of the shirt it says too hip and on the other side it says locals only. I'll just pretend like I'm a local. I should blend in, right? Well, if you enjoyed seeing all of the outfits that I'm packing and bathing suits, you're welcome for that. <laughs> then be sure you hit that thumbs up button so I know you like seeing the stuff that I packed. In the meantime, I am headed off to Mexico in just another couple of days and I am so super excited. Thank you so much for watching my video and stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because I will be making some videos from Mexico just for you guys. I hope you have a great day.